as I was saying, you know, they know not love, you don't know, but really and truly the only way to combat is to do this and come together and, and make a mighty sound, you know what I mean? Because the longer we remain like this, it's exactly how things are going to be scattered, you know? And if everybody else could come together, why can't we? You don't know. It's an injustice. These people, our people, I should say, they do not get medical attention when they are sick. Um, all these lies that they're told to lure them to break their backs doing farm work here in Canada that they'll be given equal rights as Canadians and blah 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 equal rights as what kind of Canadians black Canadians or the white Canadians definitely not the white ones or this would not keep continuing you know so I'm just here to say it out loud, the things that people know and they think and they don't want to say it because they're afraid of reprisal or, you know, it's just like in slavery days, if only the slaves had stopped living like this and lived like this, slavery wouldn't have continued on for so long even to this very day, you know? But I'm hoping that something will be done about the Jamaicans that come here to work on Canadian farms that are dying, murdered, subjected to work in unsafe conditions that you ain't gonna see it on CP24 Global News or CTV, you know? So sometimes you have to create your own media. You don't know. And my heart goes out to the families who believe they're sending their loved ones off to help make life easier in Jamaica and don't know that they're sending them off to endanger themselves to get sick and be treated worse than how an animal is treated. You don't know. But it's about time as a people that we stop living like this and live like this. You don't know. DJ Bubbles is over and out. I'm cutting the tape. Have a nice day. Good morning, Massive. It's Bubbles here. You don't know. I just want to say happy Thursday, you know. My heart goes out to, you know, the farm workers lately that have been coming here believing a mythical belief that, you know, they're going to find peace and justice and work and be able to provide for their families in Jamaica, you know what I mean? And uh, why is it that the majority of farm workers on these Canadian uh, farms, now they're only recruiting from Jamaica, you know? I was just reading an article that I posted where uh, these people are subjected to working in unsafe conditions with all the women's videos and women's knowledge out there why isn't it a right to the jamaican farm workers to know safety protocol and work in an environment where you know their safety comes first i never knew on august the 17th that um one of the farm workers from Jamaica was killed 
uh, being chopped up by some machinery and you don't see it on the news. You don't see it. I, I'm always watching CP24 and I have not yet seen that article or that incident reported on the news or the fact that a farm worker was riding his bike and got licked off, hit off the bike and killed. You do not see that on the news. But I do see Justin Trudeau and Rob, um, Doug Ford here, you know, and making apologies. The Pope flew down all the way from Europe to apologize to other nations, why don't they apologize to us? I've never seen the Queen leave Buckingham Palace and go to the USA, to Africa, to the Jamaicans who had to work on the sugarcane fields when they ripped us from the motherland to be slaves. They never apologized. And to this day, to this very day, they get away with license murderation on our people, you know? If this were to happen, if a Canadian worker went to Jamaica to go and work, what would happen if they were killed while on the job? We all know what would happen. It would be all over the news, front page in the newspaper, anything to belittle other people and make them look as if they don't know what civil civility is, you know, or minimize their intelligence like people from overseas countries are just um, stupid, you know. I'm just wondering, you know, the thing is, is that within our Caribbean community, we only make noise at a festival. We only make noise in the dance hall. But when it comes up to standing up and being a loud voice and saying, nah, this ain't okay. If the media, if the local media and, and North American media doesn't want to cover the story, you tell that story, be your own media. If a fist, look, you can't make a fist with two fingers, can you? Or one finger, but if you put all your fingers together, it makes a mighty fist, doesn't it? So. When you wonder what you can do to stop it, just think about making a fist, you know what I mean? If all the fingers come together, it makes a mighty fist, don't it? And that's what the thing is about our community, is because we're like this. So if we continue to be like this, an index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, and little thumb finger don't start doing this. We're always going to be like this. We're never going to get an apology. We're never ever going to see justice. You know what I mean? Whenever anything happens in this country to a Jamaican or a black person is been victimized, they get two minutes on the news. But let it be reversed and it's scattered on the 12 o'clock news, the 6 o'clock news, 11 o'clock. It doesn't stop playing just to remind society that we will always be the lowest chain of command in this society. You don't know. And it's quite sad. And even if one person or two people are aware of what's happening to people that come from Jamaica to come and work and provide for their family in Jamaica instead of sitting in the ghetto waiting for a Western Union money control number or a moneygram reference number, but they come and boss their back in the cold 
to work and be of help to their family, yet come here to just die in vain and nothing comes of it. It's time that we start talking about it, bring awareness. If they don't, if they ignore it by not putting putting it on the news, then be our own media. You know what I mean? If twenty people would just record it and talk about it, and those twenty people share, and then another twenty reshare, and then another few share, and let it be known that they have nowhere to hide but to face the reality that it is murder. It's what I call licensed murder because these people were given the right by Immigration Canada to hire, they call them foreign nationals, to hire foreign nationals from Jamaica to come and do farm work and then they don't care about their health and safety, you know what I mean? I mean, when you look at the news, all you hear about is a shortage of physicians and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm going to talk local now. Yesterday, I walked in to fill a prescription. Insulin and eye drops. The moment I walked in, oh, it'll be a 30-minute wait. Why? Why does it take you 30 minutes to go in your little stock of, of medication in your pharmacy, type out my name, wrap the sticker around the medication, and give me my stuff and let me be on my way. Well, the moment you walk in, security from north, west, east, and south start to advance on you like I came in with a 45 or a nine millimeter or a sawed off shotgun to rob shoppers drug mart. And then you tell me I have a 30 minute wait. How long do we accept this? And just sit quiet and go home and go, oh, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, yesterday I spoke right out. I said, why? How come you're not advising the other people? Mind you, I was the only black person at the Shoppers Drug Mart counter, and I'm the only one that got a 30-minute wait advisory. Like, I don't have a job, and I don't have a life. Well, the more you make noise and the more you expose is the more that eventually they're going to have to face it. You don't know. Now, a good friend of mine told me a long time ago, he said, you cannot preach love if you don't love everybody. That means I cannot stand up and say, I got love in my heart if I'm hating on Chinese and I'm hating on the Indians and I'm hating on white people. These people do not know love. They do not know humanity.